Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to Big Ball Vlogs. So, I try to keep up with all of the questions on my on my uh, on my videos. And a while ago, I did a video about um, the my opinion in comparison of what was a better value between the uh, DJI Phantom 3 Standard and the DJI Phantom 3 Advanced. Um, and I gave some tips on how to kind of get the most out of your DJI Phantom 3 Standard. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a, a link in the comments. Uh, and I also put, uh, I'll put a comment or link card somewhere in the video. And I also put the link to the antennas that I bought and the ARG mods in that video. But for now, I'm just going to walk through how I got the mod, where I got the antennas from, and where you can find the app. Just a little quick link, just in case you've never seen that video before, um, and just to help you out. So short story was, I bought my uh, DJI Phantom 3 Standard, um, and it said it got a, like a kilometer range. Took it out to the park, it got 1,500 feet, and it came back to me. I came back, I'm a big Googler, Googled problems with range, and then I came across a YouTube video of a guy showing me an ARG Tech mod that he got uh, 3,000 kilometers. I went out and I looked for that mod. I went out and looked for ARG Tech mod. Um, and if you go, what you can do is you just go online and it's spelled ARG, I don't, I don't know if you can see this. It's spelled out ARG Tech dot com. ARG Tech is T E K dot com. And what, you're good, when you, what you can do is you can go over there and look at their mods. And their mods usually run about 60 bucks. Excuse me. Got the hiccups for like coming on. So their mod runs about 60 bucks and it looks like this. You get the center directional, uh, you get the centered uh, control omnidirectional antenna with two flat panel FPV antennas and they will also include a flat panel directional antenna which is supposed to get you longer ranges. And first I googled DJI standard antenna mods and when you go and you look for antenna mods you're going to um, find a lot of different options here. Like if you just go into shopping for that you're going to find this hundred dollar plus extension that kind of push these guys have been using these to push these out like miles um here's one that has uh three omnidirectional antennas on it so you don't actually have to be facing the quad to get the uh, range that uh well actually not the range to keep a signal so with the directional antennas like this you have to be facing the quad to get the signal with the omnis it's probably a little bit shorter range but you're going to have a signal from all directions and you don't actually have to be following the quad to keep the signal and here's the one that I bought, and I bought something similar to this from eBay. Um, this is from some company called RC Moment. I don't know them. I don't recommend them. I'm not recommending them. It just happened to pop up here, but I could tell just by the antenna this is the one that I actually purchased. Um, and it had a 10 dBi antenna that looked just like this one for the center, and I think 5 or 7 dBi flat panel directional antennas. Um, I didn't want to wait for it to come from overseas. I didn't want to wait for it to come from China. So on one of these links, it led me to eBay, which was from a U.S. distributor who got it to me in like two or three days. So that's where I got my antenna from. Like I said, you got a lot of different options when it comes to antenna. You got those uh, solar surfers or signal surfers, the thing that looks like a piece of plastic that has a metal... Um, a metal finish on the inside that kind of reflects the direction all of the antennas uh, signal out in one direction those work I use those on the DJI Phantom 3 standard and got more range out of that I think I got it out to over a mile and a half when it normally would get about just about a mile um, you have um, these expensive mods that are boosted antennas so they usually have like a booster and a battery that you gotta hook up and you know you're spending 110 bucks for that one and then you got something simple like this which will actually do the job and get it out plenty far further than what the AMA says that you can actually fly because it's not within range of sight anymore so that's how I got my antenna mod again I'll try to put all these links in the description below but you can just google DJI Phantom 3 antenna mod and you'll see a lot of different options here the second thing was lychee so lychee is um, it's actually spelled I know a lot of guys are saying they couldn't find it lychee is actually spelled it's actually flylychee.com and that's f-l-y-l-i-t-c-h-i dot com so I'll put the link in the comment section or I'll put the link in the description section for you for that one. And Lychee is the app that I kind of talked about that allows you to do something that is a little bit controversial. Um, what Lychee allows you to do is program a mission that will fly independent of your quadcopter's control signal. So what that means is you can go and program this thing to fly four miles, but once it reaches that 1,500 to 3,000 feet, you're going to lose signal, you're going to lose FPV, you're going to lose telemetry. But it will continue to fly that path, or that, that flight path, that flight mission, and then come back to you if you've programmed it and it didn't run into a building or it didn't, uh, you didn't forget to program it to come back to you. If you program it correctly, it should come back to you. Now, a lot of guys have said that they have problems with leeching. I've got to tell you, 
I was one of those guys that just hit the the cancel button when a little when the warning message popped up because I didn't want to scroll through the whole thing to see how to set it up. I just wanted to play with it and figure out how to get it running. Um, and there is a warning that says if you run Leechy, this thing is not focusing correctly because it's trying to focus on that thing there. But if you run Leechy and DJI DJI Go on the same application or on the same device, you're going to have problems with the applications running together. So it tells you to cancel or stop one of the stop the DJI Go app by going into your settings and actually cancel not canceling it, but um, um, forcing it to stop. And, and I did that, and I never had any problems with it. I was fortunate enough that on the very first attempts to use Leechy, I was getting problems like FPV not logging in or not kicking in, which made me go back and do more research to figure out how to use it. But, um, again, you have to be very careful with le using Leechy, especially if you're using it for missions. Leechy also has other cool, very cool options in it that you don't get, if you haven't heard, seen the other video. The, the DJI Mavic, the DJI... Uh, Phantom 4s have that, that track feature where you can highlight a subject and have it track it. Leechy can do that with the DJI standard. It also has, you know, point of interest. It has orbit. It has a lot of cool things that the other more expensive quadcopters have. So that was another reason for using Leechy um, other than the missions app. But let's say you're into missions. Let's say you live in somewhere where you can kind of like fly without worrying about obstruction or worrying about it running into a building or a tree or a power line. What you can do is you can program your missions through the Leechy Mission Hub. And what that does is it gives you like a, a, like a Google, Google Maps uh, view. And what you do is you go in and you kind of set your points of interest. You can set all of your cruising altitude. You can f set your f point of focus. But you have to be sure, you have to double and triple check this, that you've set the correct altitudes for each point, the cruising speed. Because if you got it cruising along at one mile an hour and this thing is going 30 miles or, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know, seven miles, it ain't coming back any before the battery runs down. And... I don't know if that's a bad thing. I, I think le when when I, actually I think that might be a bad thing. Let me correct that because there actually is a warning that says um, while Leechy has control of your quadcopter, it kind of overrides all of those warnings like return to home and stuff like that. So that's one of the features. Like if it goes out of signal range, it will continue the mission. So if you program that mission and you haven't programmed it correctly and it's creeping along at one mile an hour and it gets out uh, two two or three miles. And it ain't got enough time. We I mean, don't have enough battery to come back. It's probably not going to come back to you. So be very careful using this one again. Um, but you have to go in and make sure you program all of your parameters correctly. Double and triple check it. Go to each point. Go back through each point. Make sure you didn't accidentally click a point way over here somewhere that you didn't realize because you you were you, you accidentally bumped the mouse or controller and put a point in way over here. And you didn't realize it because your next point was probably like here. And you didn't see that the lines were snapped together like that. And then the next point was here. So... Um, <clears throat> make sure you double triple check this but then uh, um, what else you can do is you can take this and let's say you're going to the Grand Canyon you don't know what's at the Grand Canyon you don't know what you want to see so you can Google the, or bring up the Google Grand Canyon on this map and program out your mission here save it to your profile and then once you get to your destination you can upload the video to your phone and then just run the mission so Leechy has a lot of cool features and for what I'm seeing right now it looks like it's probably ready to run on the Mavic and I'm assuming the Phantom 4 Pro because it was already running on the Phantom 4. By the way, Amazon, where is my Mavic? Everybody's got them. I see them being sold on eBay like like they're just in stock somewhere for twice the amount of money. But Amazon, you have not gotten me my Mavic. I ordered that thing in October. Sorry, just had to rant a little bit. Um, so that's it, guys. That's where you get your antenna mods. That's where you get lychee. Um, another little word of warning, um, Leechy, if you download it for Google, um, you can upload it on any of your Google devices, but if you want to run it on two different phones, like I, I chose to run DJI Go on my Apple phone and, and Leechy on my Google, on my, uh, Android phone just to keep them separate, but if you want to download it for both devices, you're going to have to pay $20 per device, so, um, just to kind of like give you a heads up on that, so that's it guys, that's where you get it from, that's how you run it. I mean, that's where you get the apps from. That's where you kind of download them from. You can go to the Google Store, the Apple Store to get them. And you can pick up your antenna mods from, uh, let's go back. You can pick up your antenna mods from a lot of different vendors off of eBay. Or you can get the one from uh, from uh, ARG Tech for about 60 bucks, even off of eBay. I think you can get it for about 60 bucks off of eBay. So depending on what you want, from between 30 and 60 bucks, you can get your antenna mods. And then leech your mods another 20 bucks. Hopefully that helps for you. I'll try to leave all the descriptions. I'll try to remember to leave all the descriptions in this video. I appreciate you watching. Um, let's get back to the big screen here. Um, and continue to subscribe for the giveaways and reviews. I got something very cool in the mail. Actually, I got two of something very cool in the mail that I'm going to be doing a review on soon. 
It's crappy outside and raining. But um, you got to subscribe to, to know when I'm going to give it away. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll get back to you soon.